What is up? My name is Sam, and today we will be talking about the Lakers versus Nuggets series and the Celtics versus the Miami Heat. And let's get started with this Lakers versus Nuggets. This series has been simply amazing, electric, down to the wire. You know, game one, of course, the Nuggets pulled it off, and game two was last night, and it was real close from the beginning. The Lakers looked like they were on a roll in the beginning. They were getting going back and forth, back and forth, but Roy Hachimura was simply amazing. I believe he was perfect in the field until, like, the third, fourth quarter, and Austin Reeves had a decent game. LeBron had a decent game, and it was just really the role players stepping up, the role players having um, a big game, such as Roy Hachimura, and... Austin Reeves, which I mean, that's where they what they need to win besides Anthony Davis and LeBron having a good game. And for the Nuggets, it was I don't want to say a slow start. For it was a it was a slower start from what we're used to seeing from Jokic, and they kind of they looked kind of slow, but they kind of they were keeping up. But they were, you know, the Lakers would get a lead and they come back slowly and then get a lead, come back slowly, and they just didn't look like the same offense. And then the third quarter was really what the Lakers took over got a lead, and the Nuggets were just cold the third quarter pretty much. And then the fourth quarter came, and Jamal Murray, playoff Jamal Murray came alive, and he had 23 points, I believe, in the first, in the third, in the fourth quarter. 23 points just himself in the fourth quarter. He ended up with over nine free throws made the whole entire game. And stuff like that is what's going to win the the Nuggets a series. Multiple things is going to win the, for the Nuggets. The, the multiple things that the Nuggets need to do to win the series. One is to be effective and score the ball when Jokic is not on the floor. You can't let have the Lakers get the lead whenever Jokic is off the floor. And it's going to need a Michael Porter Jr. game, a Aaron Gordon game. And KCP did not have the big game that he did in game one. But Bruce Brown had a decent game. Um, Jamal Murray, like I said earlier, and, and Michael Porter Jr. And and uh. Michael Ford Jr. had a decent game. He did very well rebounding the ball, but they just need a lot more scoring from everybody else besides Jokic. Jokic had a decent game, and I like the comments before from Mike Malone before the game, talking about game one, everyone's praising the Lakers like they just won. Like, that's the a, a whole narrative. Like, like they made an adjustment, but they still lost. Like, I bet you Darvin Ham would rather be 1-0 than 0-1. And, and he said, we're going to win game two, and and that's what they did. Exactly, he did that. And... It showed him making the adjustment, and still, I mean, still about the Lakers right now because the Lakers and saying they're going to be fine, which I don't want to say they're in trouble. It is too early. It is, you know, they still got to go to to Los Angeles and play those two games in the crypto arena. And for me, the Nuggets, they all just need to win one, just win one at least there. I mean, the sweep, that's that's the best case scenario. But if you go for the, oh, man. Because assuming the sweep would be nice, but I don't think it happened. I think the Lakers t- take game three, and you need to win that game four to have game five in either three or four. You need to win at least one to go in five where you're undefeated in the playoffs and win. And, you know, to have that moment, we're going to go to the finals and win it to go to the finals in your home court. That is amazing. I mean, if you can do it in four, it's good. You know, get more rest. But if you can do it in five, if you, I think the realistic thing is for them to do it in five. But it's hard to say that also because the Lakers have been pushing. They've been showing so much fight, so much fight. But then it's like at the end, they just blow some light lead and the and the um, Nuggets just get hot at the right time. And that's what they pretty much would do. Like once the Nuggets get hot, that's it. That's pretty much game over at that point. And they need. And I don't know what it is with LeBron. Um, he did have that. Um, he fell on top of Anthony Davis's ankle, so I hope everything is fine. He played the rest of the game, and he looked fine. But I hope it's nothing too serious with that. And um, it sucks that the Nuggets going up 2-0 wasn't really the big storyline. It was the whole Jeremy Sohan saying that um, LeBron was flopping and stuff. And I think that was really over exaggerated because I mean LeBron did have a big, very over exaggerating flop, and I was just like, I was like, for what? For what? But I don't know. It is what it is. And I think people are just overreacting to that. Saying that Jeremy Sullivan wants to be a villain and all that. But it is, I mean, it's whatever. But my prediction, I think the Lakers take game three at home. And the Nuggets take it at four. And they win. I think they're going to win it at five. At least that's the, the pipe dream for them. And then now let's get to this tonight's game. The Celtics versus the Miami Heat. And the Miami Heat just played with more heart. They played 
like the team that wants to win, like the team that should be going to the NBA Finals. And you know me, if you watch my earlier videos, I I, I did a whole apology and I, disres I said I disrespected the Miami Heat after beating the Milwaukee Bucks because it was the plan and I was like, whatever, the plan's going to get maybe one game and they beat them in five. Which is crazy that we are still underestimating the Miami Heat once they beat the number one seed in five games. And they're like, yeah, they won't sustain it, but they've been doing it all all year long. And then Bam's been had an electric game one. And, you know, that's, I mean, he does, I think, really good against the Miami I mean, the Boston Celtics historically. And, oh, man, it's going to need a Derek White. Like I've been saying, all playoffs, all. Derek White needs to be the big factor. Um... Jason Tatum cannot have no attempts in the fourth quarter. I preached to you guys how much Jason Tatum is the guy, and he can win it. He can be the number one on championship team. And then for him to do that, no shot attempts in the fourth quarter, or at least no none made in the fourth quarter, which is insane to me. And I think he steps it up, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta split it. You gotta split it before you go to Miami, because winning Miami is tough. And if I'm the Nuggets. I'm trying to get the series done in time because this looks like this Heat and Boston Celtics series is going to go to seven, which I think it is. I think I mean I hopefully have Boston winning in seven because I I want it to be Boston versus Nuggets, Jokic versus Tatum, and I think that's a, I think that's probably the best matchup possible besides Lakers versus um, Lakers versus Celtics, and then possibly of course the bubble matchup between. And there's just so many good storylines because you have the bubble rematch, Lakers versus Heat, and then you have the semi feud from the Nuggets and the Heat because of the Marcus. I don't even none of the Morristons aren't even on the Heat anymore, but with that whole picture, they were standing waiting for Nikola Jokic for them to come. That was the whole thing, the whole thing about that. But I kind of just I think my my favorite thing is for Nikola Jokic to face against. Um, Jason Tatum and J Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown for the NBA championship. That's what I'm hoping, and I think I mean I think that's what's gonna happen. But man, the the Celtics need to step up. They need to. They can't be blowing leads like this. They need to play with more heart and play more aggressive. And I know people are blaming Joe Mazzulla for every, for the timeout and stuff like that. But I think it's at the end of the day, it's just effort with the players. And yes, you know he has some, you know. It's not it's not all just the players, but it's also not all just him like everybody wants to do. But it just need to be better. they need to be better. And I think they step it up here in game two. And also a few things we got we probably much been talking we pretty much been talking about James Harden this whole entire all these videos. But it looks like they're pretty much saying that he is like pretty much gonna go to Houston, which I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I mean it is what it is. Houston's got the money, Houston will give it to him and he'll convince himself that they can win a championship, whatever, with Ime Yudoka being such a great coach, but I don't know. I think he's too young and then to, I think they'll end up splitting up the young core, rushing Jabari Smith's um progression, rushing Tar Eason, rushing I mean Operation Shengun's already great, but rushing um Jalen Green from playing off the ball. It's just I think it's just a bad idea, but it is what it is. And we have also um Damian Lillard not wanting to be traded. I mean uh, it's like one thing else. I'm tired of talking about Damian Lillard not wanting to leave. Everybody wants him to leave. I personally, at this point, I don't really care. I can see, yes, you know, loyal to the soil for Portland. and But you can't, I don't want to say you can't be preaching these. I know he wants to win these championships, but Portland has not really showed him anything to show him, you know what, this is what we're going to do. And the biggest thing they did, and there's no disrespect to Jeremy Grant, but the biggest thing they did was to sign Jeremy Grant. In all these years. But, like, it's like, come on, man. Like, I understand. And then now they're linked to DeAndre Aiden. And, I mean, that's all right, I guess. I hope the Spurs can get in a three-team trade like that and try to steal pick number three. But that's a whole other thing about that. I want you to comment down below. What do you think of these NBA playoff series? And who do you have winning these next games in the playoffs? And what do you think about James Harden possibly returning back to Houston? And do you think the Portland Trailblazers should trade away Dame? Or should they trade the third overall pick to build a championship team? Or at least try to around Damian Lillard? We are also on a goal to reach 100 subscribers at the end of the month. We're at 72, I believe, subscribers right now. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can hit that goal. Make sure you like. And we'll see you next time with more content.